So today we're going to look at CMO, copy motion objects, and the SDO, service data object. There's uh, example nine shows how to read and write an SDO. So the basic idea for can open on the DS301 is an SDO, service data object, used to transport data back and forth between the drive and the master. Um, it could be used for large amounts of data. Uh, it's a confirmed message. It's slower. Um, it's not like PDO's process data object, which is used for you know high speed position control. Um, this is just to get data to and from the drive. A PDO is excellent, but you can only map eight transmit and eight receive. So you're limited to you know which which objects in the object dictionary you want to read. You know, there, maybe there is an object like I want to just get the position and maybe it's not in a PDO. So you can use an SDO to read and write anything. Now, what the CMO example is using uh, is we're reading and writing an object uh, for the indexer registers. So in the can open programmers guide, we'll look for that variable or that object in the object dictionary and indexer register values index 0x. 2600 with sub index uh, 1 through 32, which contains R0 through R31. And that's what it says right here in the uh, Can Open Programmer's Guide. So I'm connected to my drive over the serial port so I can check the CAN bitrate and node ID, node 1, 1 megabit. Um, I'm in a pre operational state and uh, i'm definitely in a can mode um i'm software disabled because i'm in pre-operational and uh, i don't have an a can open master running so i'm getting a, a node guard error um that's just in ram right now we could clear that out and, and remove the error but that's okay um what i'm going to do over the serial port is use the as key command line to look at a register value I can look at R0 and R1, and their values are 0. I can set R1 to a value of 1, and then read it back. Um, so we can use uh, CME2 to read and write variables over the serial port. There's also a CVM control program with view register values. So we can see all the register values over the serial port. Um, just a side note here. There is a parameter for saving and restoring register values uh, from Flash. On power up, a CVM program will set them all to zero, or that's the state in RAM. Um, the CVM allows us to flash these. Um, that's part of the CVM programming space. It's not a normal variable to save these to Flash. These are normally RAM variables. So what we're going to look at while we have the serial port going is the um, CMO example, copy motion. Uh, I like the vb.net because that's what I'm familiar with. I got Visual Studios 2017. I'm using the old 5.0 on this, and it happens to be working. We're going to update this very soon here, add some more features, maybe do a robot or something. So the example programs are written in vb.net and they allow us to um, you know, initialize a network, initialize a drive, and sort of the critical factors here um, for this SDO is the SDO upload and SDO download. So there is a AMP object declared up ahead in this program, which uses the SDO download. You hand it the object. The object ID for 2600 is decimal 9728, or you could do a hex uh, ampersand H value there too. Uh, Subindex is gotten from the um, the input. So if the value is R0, we're going to add 1 to it for subindex 1. So register 0 through 31 is uh, subindex 1 through 32. And the data, 
of course, is just a 32-bit signed integer, which we're going to pass. So this allows us to read a value from the amplifier. That's a upload, um, maybe opposite of our intuition. But then the same thing is true for the download. Um, so rather than just display the data, uh, we're, we're going to take what, what we put into the box and, um, and run it. So let's see how the screen comes up and how that interacts with our um, device here. So I'm running CAN. I'm going to set register 0 equal to a value, let's say write 10. And you can see here over the serial port, R0 became 10. And then I can read that parameter here. So that's the basic uh, function of the SDO used in this example to read and write the indexer registers. Um, for a more interesting example, we're going to take a look at uh, how to do this with the serial binary format parameter. So we can see in the Can Open Programmer's Guide, uh, you can send a command to the drive over an SDO. Um, so we read and write object 2000. Uh, in, in this manual, it also describes the byte order. Uh, that's very important. So here's an example of 0x, 0c, serial binary command, which is the 12, which is get. It's the opcode get. Uh, 0x17 hex is the actual position and a couple of zeros here. So, so we have to look at the byte order. Uh, uh, maybe it's, you know, this is the first byte and then the order gets changed in an SDO. So this is the second and this becomes the third. So it, it's a little confusing, but the byte order is, is very important. So we'll take a look at that in the example. So what I'm going to do in this program here is comment out the data and start using um, this is a byte, a new byte, array of bytes. Here's the first byte, here's the second byte, here's the third byte. So the order of the bytes is important. So this would be, yeah, so the 0x17 is, is really uh, the, the one you need to pass down. <clears throat> so um, the right method downloads the object. Uh, we're going to not use the, that one, and we're going to use object hex ampersand h hex 2000 and sub index is um, still going to be let's comment this out here we're going to use the amp object sdo download extended with the object we're going to set zero for sub index x and how many uh how many bytes is that three so that's how we get these hex codes to go down we write the number of bytes um continuing down here or back up again i have the read so for some reason the, the read comes before the write but that's fine so we'll comment out so we have uh 12 bytes for the display that's fine uh it will, it'll display lots of stuff for us so good uh that's the comment here's the object so this is going to read from the amplifier object 2000 on uh, sub index 0 the uh, byte array and there's 12 bytes so i'll spare you the pain of this but um i set some breakpoints so we're going to write and we can take a look at the I've set a breakpoint here, SDO download extended, and we can see what the data does. 0C, 17, 0, 0, that's the right order. Uh, I will continue here. So I can, that's written, and then I can read. So when we get to this breakpoint, we can see the data, and we're going to step into it, and we see the data change 1A. So 1A in hex, 1A in decimal is 26. 
and we can see that the actual position is 26. So there's an example of reading and writing any object in the object dictionary. This is the serial binary object. We were able to read and write to the serial binary object, uh, serial binary parameter format to get 0x17, which is the actual position. And we can see um, the parameter dictionary has all the variables in, in the serial binary format. This is the ASCII value, uh, 0x17 is the actual position. Um, there's other positions like motor position, load position. Um, so any, any parameter that you see in CME2, uh, you can read and write it. Um, you know, a more complicated thing with SDOs, I suppose, is you could change the drive mode and, and make some moves. But this is just to show how to use the serial binary format and how to um, read and write variables. Um, so for further instructions, you can look at the uh, serial binary video. And uh, if you need help getting the CMO program up and running, there's a uh, CMO introduction video too. So thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.